We've all heard someone say that they do this. You almost certainly have done it yourself, if not regularly. Personally, I can assure that this occupies a large amount of my time. It is overthinking. Frankly, while I'm writing this, I am doing it. I find myself easily falling down the rabbit hole in my mind, asking, what will I write in the next sentence? Will it make any sense? Will this essay convey what I want it to? Will the video I turn this into be any good? Is it even worth making? Will people find any value in it? Does it even matter? Does anything matter? Clearly, overthinking can be extremely debilitating. What starts as a useful exercise of questioning something or trying to determine the quality of what one is doing can often dip into mayhem and useless confusion. In a moment of overthinking, we lose traction with reality. It feels as if a portal to endless nothingness has been opened. We frantically search for somewhere or something that lets us regain our grip on our thoughts and our reality, but everything seems to collapse underneath us. As humans, we are both self-aware and curious, and now, more than ever, there is so much information at our disposal. It is overwhelming to try to make sense of it all, especially when a lot of it doesn't really make much sense. And beyond that, there is so much unknown waiting to be discovered. There is so much to find interest and fascination in. There's so much to do and decide from, and in the process, the average human generates around 70,000 thoughts a day, nearly a new thought every second. So of course, we sometimes overthink things. I would argue that there is no quick, simple trick to prevent overthinking from ever happening. And in my opinion, anything or anyone who claims that there is, is either misguided or negligently misleading. However, what can be very helpful and effective in minimizing the negative side effects of overthinking is understanding how to best regain control of the thinking process as well as setting up habits, patterns, and ways of life to help combat the tendency to frequently and excessively overthink. Firstly, the best and most effective method of dealing with something like constant rumination and any subsequent depression or anxiety is seeking professional help with a licensed therapist or counselor. On this channel, our take on life and any advice we give is merely just that, our take on life and our best advice based on personal experience and opinion, and it is not to be used as a substitute for professional help. However, we do believe that any additional tactics or ideas we can share based on our own personal experiences can only help the conversation. With that in mind, here are six things we have found to be of help when in battle with thought. 1. Write it down. Writing down your thoughts, whether it be in a journal, or typed up into an essay or on a notepad on your phone, or even recording yourself talking using the voice memo feature on your phone, can all be great ways to navigate through one's thoughts more clearly and effectively. Seeing or hearing back what you are thinking can help provide that little bit of detachment between yourself and your thoughts so you can better understand what you are thinking about, why you are thinking about it, and where to take the thoughts in order to find some sort of conclusion. 2. Talk with someone. If not a therapist or a doctor of some sort, talk to a friend, romantic partner, or family member that you have a sense of comfort and openness with. Really try to dig deep and share the full scope of the things that you are hung up on. The more open you are, the more effective this can be. If you don't have anyone who you feel you have a real sense of openness with, open up to the person that you think would be the best bet. Often, someone may not be open with you because you are not open with them, and sometimes by initiating that openness, you unlock a higher level of connection and exchange. Having someone to bounce ideas off of, contribute alternative thoughts, or to say whether or not you are making sense can be very reassuring, make you feel less alone in your head, and provide a sense of closure in some of the endless loops of thought. 3. Distract your mind. Find healthy things to do that distract you from overthinking. Sometimes embracing the process of overthinking and working through it by writing it down or talking about it is the best route. But in cases where it becomes so debilitating and begins to permeate into every little thing you do and nothing seems to help bring clarity to the thoughts, it is important to engage in things that forcibly take you out of it. Things that require your full focus and attention. A lot of what we do in life is a result of this desire to find distraction from the self and the problems of overthinking. But there are certainly a lot of activities that do this that are unhealthy. Things like drinking, taking drugs, overeating, overworking, or taking high-level risks with no real purpose are all things that can distract us from overthinking but ultimately just lead to further problems and end up amplifying the need to think a lot about life and how to improve it, subsequently creating worse patterns of overthinking. Alternatively, things like exercising, playing sports, working on creative endeavors or hobbies with no real financial stake, doing fun things with friends, family, or a romantic partner like going to the beach, an amusement park, out to eat, or just hanging out and joking around can all be tremendously helpful in finding a break from overthinking in ways that actually benefit your mind and body. Additionally, doing these things proactively by designating time to them throughout the week is obviously extremely important and can potentially help minimize the tendency to excessively overthink. 4. Meditation 
Meditation can still have a bit of a weird stigma around it. A lot of people resist the premise of the idea that simply doing nothing can do anything. And this argument is very understandable. However, it is not completely true. Meditating can help you gain greater control over the mind and the voice in your head that is constantly ruminating. It can help quiet this voice and function a lot like exercising in the sense that it serves as a healthy distraction from one's normal state by placing your attention more on the present moment and away from thinking about the past or future. Even if you do not believe in the sort of spiritual aspect that is often associated with meditation, you can still think about it as a form of relaxation. Giving yourself some time to just do nothing while you focus on your breath and submit to the present moment can bring you into a unique state of calmness and self-attunement, which can help recalibrate the thinking process and provide you with greater clarity. 5. Overthink Overthinking Yes, this is ironic and sounds counterintuitive, but if you're already prone to overthinking, why not use it against itself? Think about overthinking. Really think about it. Let the same process of rumination unfold on the very beast that is itself. Recognize how goofy it is. Recognize how goofy life is. Overthinking can sometimes feel like hell, but ultimately, what even is overthinking? It's just thinking too much. So what? You come out of it, sometimes you learn from it, sometimes it actually helps you find the best answer to something, sometimes it exhausts you, sometimes it's pointless, but at the end of the day, it's a part of being alive and it's a part of being human. It's representative of the fact that we can think so deeply that we actually think past what is necessary. That we are so curious and desire so much knowledge, understanding, and perfection that our brain will take us to the extreme in this pursuit. And the concept of overthinking loses some of its power when you think about it like this. Lastly, six, acceptance. Accept and acknowledge that to some extent, overthinking is in fact a part of life. We are not always going to know what is going on or what the right decision or answer is, and this is going to put us through moments of stress and disorientation. But that can be okay so long as it's not all the time and doesn't become debilitating. Accepting that moments of overthinking and stress are a part of life also helps reduce the power it has over us. It no longer feels like we are alone in it or that it is something to feel foolish about. It separates our sense of self-identity from it and allows us to try our best to enjoy and appreciate the process of life for both what feels good and what feels bad. Ultimately, at the risk of sounding pessimistic, although these can all be very helpful in reducing the negative side effects, there's no quick solution to completely eliminate overthinking. Surely there are different types of overthinking, and some are more severe than others, and some are more easily reduced than others. But I don't believe overthinking, especially if you're someone who overthinks a lot, can just be turned off. And frankly, I don't think it should be. Overthinking, by definition, is thinking about something more than necessary. But how does one know how much thinking is necessary if we do not think past the point of necessity? In our desire for understanding, innovation, and preparation for the future, we think. And we think a lot. We are constantly taking in the world, trying to make sense of it all. Some thoughts are going to be unnecessary, and some thoughts are going to be questions with no answer. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't think them, and it doesn't mean we shouldn't ask them. Ironically, on the topic of overthinking, overthinking is sort of what let us look for the best way to deal with overthinking. It's what led you to this video, and whether or not this video has helped you, it is what got you in the mode to find resolution, to find improvement in your life. And to not be willing to think too much sometimes, is to risk never thinking enough. Thank you for watching. If you found enjoyment and value in this video, please give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments below, and if you are not already, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We are constantly coming out with new videos to help you experience life with clarity and wonder.